Well, sadly this week, Detroit lost its angel of jazz. Detroit philanthropist Gretchen Carhart Vallade passed away at the age of 97. Her grandfather was Hamilton Carhart. He was the founder of the Carhart Company. But as our Megan Woods reports, that doesn't even touch the legacy that she leaves behind. Our angel of jazz. That's what many people across the city of Detroit referred to her as, not just because of her love for the art, but how much she advocated for it. Gretchen C. Valade's love for jazz was no ordinary love. It started at a young age. She often spoke about her and her sister going out to jazz clubs and checking out jazz. She loved Dave Brubeck. Wayne State University professor Chris Collins worked closely with her in several capacities. Years ago, Gretchen asked him to join the Detroit Jazz Festival Foundation's board. And now he's the president and artistic director. We became friends first because of not just you know her financial contributions but her love of this music and what it could do and her love of our city she made it her mission to keep jazz thriving locally and among multiple generations in 2005 gretchen created a 10 million dollar endowment for the detroit jazz festival when the jazz festival was about to become extinct we all knew it the funding had dried up and there wasn't a lot of corporate support at that point she stepped up and she was in her 70s you know she said let's get to work then in 2008, she opened this space. The Dirty Dog Jazz Cafe in Gross Point. She's also the founder of Mac Avenue Music Group record label. And you can't forget her work with Wayne State University. She wanted to design an, 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 uh, an environment that was specifically acoustically and logistically designed for jazz, about 360 or so seats, every seat great perfect acoustics for all kinds of jazz, but specific to jazz. So she, she put a, a $9.5 million endowment into Wayne State to create the Gretchen C. Valet Jazz Center. This is her at the groundbreaking. As crews work on the project, Chris can't help but to think of the promise he made to her, a critical part of her story and her legacy. She said to me once when I asked her, what can I get her for Christmas? She said, you can get me two things. She said, you can promise me you'll keep the Detroit Jazz Festival free and promise me you'll keep it jazz, the real art form. This project is expected to be done by the end of this year. In Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4.